Welcome. Uh, this video is uh, meant for my students here at DMAC to uh, help them compare pharmacy schools locally, but I think the information will help uh, anyone who's trying to compare pharmacy schools nationally. Now this is the FarmCast homepage. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, that's the Pharmacy College Application Service, and you go through this. Uh, whether you're going to be a med student, it would be the, I think, uh, MedCast, and then, uh, you know, nursing student has its own PT cast for physical therapy and so forth and if you look on this directory you can see that you can kind of pick where you want to go uh, you can pick by testing requirements if they require the PCAT or the TOEFL you can check if it's private or public and you can check if you know what kind of residency you need but what it doesn't do a very good job at and I'm going to talk about that uh, a bit is it doesn't help you figure out which ones have certain pre-pharmacy requirements. Now I'm going to show you where I got these. I've already opened the tabs, but we'll start with Drake because Drake is the most local and I know it really well because my wife went there, but also we send more students to Drake um, than uh, anywhere else from DMAC here. So if you go in, you'll get this published survey and uh, I'll talk a little bit about that uh, in a minute, but I just want to let you know where we got it from. Okay, so the, what I'm going to be talking about are the actual requirements. Uh, so when I say requirements, I mean these. Okay, so these are the prerequisites, and the FarmCast isn't necessarily that reliable with all of these uh, charts because they're getting something from the school uh, and they're not making changes uh, based on uh, things that they might see. So again, uh, you really want to use two sources, as with anything, uh, especially uh, with the FarmCast because some of these are so important. Okay, so I'll, the first issue we have is that if you add all these numbers up, they don't make 63. Uh, what is missing is a line on electives, and there's a certain number of electives. And so normally I would go to the college website, but we actually can't access Drake's website from DMAC. Uh, we have an issue with the Wi-Fi and that the Wi-Fi prevents us from going there and they can't come here. Uh, it's a little bit weird, but we can use mobile. Uh, but I can still uh, kind of speak to what I need to speak to um, a little bit later. Uh, but uh, just know that this area might not be um, uh, exactly right. And then uh, the other issue we'll talk about is the order of this. So this goes chemistry, biology, biology, math. English, which makes a ton of sense, uh, but I'll talk about how inconsistent that is across uh, other colleges. Okay? And then there are a bunch of dead links that you'll find. Uh, I don't know if they're dead links because you're not logged because I'm not logged in uh, as a student. So these are uh, regular links that are going to go to a site. But let me find a dead link for you. Um, there are a ton of these if you look through all the colleges. If you're coming in uh, outside. So, no, it might not be on this one. Yeah, so I'll wait to, to look at to the other schools. Okay, okay. Well, let me get rid of this copy. Okay, so then uh, University of Iowa is the second uh, school that we would uh, talk about, which is um, we have uh, here the survey that Iowa sent. And this is only useful really to a student that's going to Iowa from Iowa because these classes are Iowa classes, uh, literally. Uh, so rhetoric, uh, this is comp one and two, and speech, it's kind of weird. It's all uh, mixed in together in a four credit class, but if you're transferring, uh, it's completely different, and I'll talk about that. And then the 72 is also a bit of a fiction. Uh, you don't, it doesn't add up to 72. Uh, so again, you need to use at least two different sources if you're going to figure out what you actually need to go into this college. And the first source I would recommend is that you go to the college's pre-pharmacy site from students that are at that school and then coming in. So if you're at Iowa, going to Iowa, you use this page. But I wanted to let you know that there is another page that is on the transfer page, so it's not linked from here. But if you're coming from a community college or another college going to Iowa, you have to go to this page, uh, which is the transfer information page. And these are fantastic, uh, these uh, equivalency guides. And we'll talk about the actual course requirements through an Excel spreadsheet. But 
um, what this PDF does, and I'm sorry it's taking so long to load, I should have uh, picked it out ahead of time, but it tells you that if you have a bachelor's degree, you don't actually even need to take that class. Uh, and then if you are coming from community college, you need to take Comp 1, Comp 2, and Oral Communication because there's not a good transfer equivalence, but that means that you have to take nine credits here to take what is four credits there. Uh, these are pretty uh, com comparable, except Iowa's one of the schools that requires biochem, a higher level chemist, uh, biology class, and the reason for this is that they show that persistence, that is how what percentage of students stay in college, uh, is higher if you have a biology class, at least one uh, above the 300 level. And that can be taken online. So you could actually go to DMACC, take it online at Iowa State uh, for free, but uh, that would be through uh, an exchange program that we have. Uh, and then uh, microeconomics uh, is uh, one of those classes that you know transfers over straight so this is fantastic uh, but you have to know that this page exists uh, and so going back to farmcast farmcast is giving you this but not telling you this okay uh, Creighton uh, this one was really straightforward um, where the hours match up pretty well to their own website but the big issue is that this is biology, then chemistry, then math, then English, then psychology, then economics. If you look at Iowa's, it's English, chemistry, math, chemistry, biology, anatomy, microbiology, math. Drake, it's uh, oops, uh, chemistry, biology, micro. Anyway, you get the picture. Uh, there's absolutely no concordance between them. Uh, so Farmcast is just taking what they get from this uh, survey and then putting them in there but not putting them in the same order and then if you look at Creighton's hours it's, this is a very nice uh, website very clean uh, and you see that it's these are the biology requirements anatomy requirements and so forth okay uh, oh I did have it up so and then I'm gonna only do Maryland because this is my alma mater but also there oh that's a dead link um, there are uh, some things that are at Maryland that are a little bit different than other schools, uh, specifically this physics. But again, we run into that problem where there's no consistency in the order of these program prereqs, which makes it very tough for someone like me who uh, has to advise uh, students. And like, for example, this is going to be a dead link um, because I think I'm because I'm not logged in. Uh, if you're coming in and you're not logged in, this links to schoolpages.farmcast.org and that's in some way is something different uh, but all of those are dead links uh, you would just have to copy this and put it in the browser uh, but there are a ton of dead links if you're not logged in I'm not sure if that's the case uh, if you are logged in and then we'll talk about Maryland's actual prerequisites uh, over here and you can see that we have eight different web pages to look at obviously I'd be looking at uh, Drake's if I could uh, and now we have to compare them all in such a way that we can say okay well how do I get the classes that I need okay. so I started this as just this spreadsheet not trying to answer my students question this morning she's like what classes do I take next semester I want to maybe go to Drake maybe Iowa maybe Creighton and I said, okay, well, let me just, you know, kind of look at it. And then I, I worked up the spreadsheet and it was just becoming a disaster. Very tough to read. Okay. So the biggest problem or one of the easiest fixes is if Farmcast would put everything in the same order. And I know it's another step. I know that they have 142 colleges to do this with, uh, but certainly there's someone that can do this for you. Uh, where now we have all of these different classes. And let me make this a little bit bigger because I expect on the uh, that's going to give me, that's not what I want. Let me do this. Um, I want to view 125%. So I'm going to do a zoom and I'll do custom 150%. Yeah, that makes it a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm going to give you some of the things that a student coming in from pharmacy or pre-pharmacy has to deal with that I know that they're not going to know. Okay, so the first thing with the Iowa is that goofy, well, if you go to Iowa, it's four credits from Iowa, but if you come from DMACC, then it's nine credits for English and speech. 
Uh, chemistry is the same, stats is the same. If you take electives, there's a fine print that says that 12 electives have to be done ahead of time, but you need 20 total, and then you can do them later. Okay. Physics, it's four credits of physics, but only but it's high school physics. So if you had high school physics, you don't need to take physics. So I've seen people take physics by accident. And then biochemistry, you need to take biochemistry, but you can't take it at a community college because it's a 300 level course. You have to take it uh, somewhere else. Okay. So Creighton's um, doesn't really have anything goofy except that uh, organic, you have to have done, I think, a semester of organic before, they're, before they'll take your application. So the, what they're saying is that organic is such a predictor of success in pharmacy school, they want you to have taken that too. So uh, a reason why if you're going to do it in two years, you have to start with that chemistry. Uh, Drake, so a, a little bit uh, goofy is that you can take English and speech in the summer before you get in. So you would actually want to take all of these classes first so that you can get your two years done uh, and then English and speech doesn't have to be done till summer. Okay. And then Maryland is a little bit goofy in that it only requires one semester of English and it requires eight credits of physics. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about my almost disaster uh, with physics when I was at the University of Maryland College Park before I went to Maryland. But my understanding was that it's not the engineering physics, uh, it was the um, med school physics. So I'll explain that in a minute. So what I did was I created a spreadsheet for you uh, and for my students uh, so that we can kind of make sense of this. And so I put the better way to do this, and if you want to use good you know, UX, good user design, is to make it in such a way that we can easily compare in one page everything that we need to compare. Okay? So the first thing you start with is what's the most common. And so if I'm, if I'm FarmCast, I want to put chemistry first. Because across the board, they all ask for the exact same thing, 16 credits of chemistry. In organic 1, in organic 2, organic 1, organic 2. And then you look at kind of the, the differences. So only Iowa requires biochemistry. And that's an important thing to know uh, because it's a little bit of sticker shock for our community college students who pay like 100 and something a credit hour to know that they have to take a three credit class at a four year school uh, which could cost well, probably in state that would probably be about fifteen hundred dollars sixteen hundred dollars uh, around here and that's a little bit of sticker shock when you're only paying maybe three hundred dollars for a class or well, it'd be closer to four hundred dollars for a three credit class here um, biology this is also confusing in that some require it and some don't I should have probably made that yellow for uh, Maryland um, Biology 1 and 2 is what I'm going to advise this person to take because Drake takes it, Iowa takes it, Creighton takes it, but Maryland only requires one semester uh, if, if I were to have that in the mix. But Drake would have taken Anat and Phys 1 and 2 and that might have been more appropriate, but if you want to figure out, okay, I want to maximize my chances at these three different schools to get the right classes, uh, biology one and two is the way to go. Uh, microbiology, uh, you don't take at Creighton, but you do take at the others. And then Drake only requires three credits versus four uh, at Iowa, though I'm not really familiar with a three credit class that I could actually be able to refer. Uh, then statistics, so again Creighton doesn't require the statistics, but uh, if you see this calculus across the board, um, we see these kind of goofy Okay, well, four credits of calculus, three credits. I'm just not familiar with a three-credit calculus class, uh, but maybe there is one out there. Uh, I'm only familiar with four or five credits. Uh, English, uh, so here we have nine credits. Uh, and then that Iowa, Iowa, if you're at Iowa, going to Iowa, it's four. But if you're at DMAC, going to Iowa, it's nine. And then same thing. But here at Drake, you would actually want to take these last. Uh, but a, an advisor telling you to come in would probably tell you to take it first, so it's a little bit confusing there. Uh, physics, again, that kind of goofiness with Iowa. If you've um, taken high school physics, you're good, but otherwise there is a four-credit physics requirement. It's an introductory physics. And then Maryland uh, is different than all of the schools in that it requires eight credits of physics. And that's something to really know about your classmates in that there's a different person is going to take 
eight credits of physics than is going to go to a school that doesn't require physics at all. Uh, same thing with biochemistry. So it would be a lot easier um, to apply to either Drake or, Mar Drake or Creighton in two years than it would be to apply to Iowa or Maryland in two years because that physics would have to come after your maths and you're also adding biology, organic, uh, so uh, just something to know there. Uh, social sciences, uh, I'm not sure what Drake is because I want to say that I didn't see anything specific there, but I just put that some schools are specific. Yes, I want economics. Yes, I want psychology. So if you want to pick two classes for sure, uh, those are probably the best ones in terms of guessing what they're going to want. Uh, but the take home here is really that it's extremely complicated to figure out which classes you need to take in which order. And I kind of made a little thing here that I talked about, you know, how out of how different the order is in FarmCast. But I think if you do it this way, and I'll give you a place that you can get this document, but if I think you do it this way, then you can start kind of looking at, okay, well, what classes have I taken? And now you can see it on one page, which makes for good user design. And let me just bring that up here. So if you go to the Memorizing Pharmacology webpage, and I made a pre-farm link, and you can click here to get this Excel spreadsheet. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I wrote a book about the community college pre-med classes because it was easier for me to just hand our students a book. I just give it to them free on our campus. Um, but you can get the Kindle for 99 cents. The paperback's 10 bucks uh, if you really want it. Uh, and then the audiobook's five bucks. Um, but I recommend that you know you at least listen to the free five minute sample. It'll give you a little bit of good advice. And then there's a free sample also of uh, the last admissions hurdle that you can listen to. Uh, and I think that's uh, 10 minutes of excellent advice. I put the best advice in the five minutes, which is um, and that's an audiobook you can get for three bucks, but uh, to help you with the interview. But let's go back to uh, this Excel spreadsheet. And I think if you want to, um, I can maybe help evaluate some people's choices as you're kind of looking at this. If you want to uh, maybe send them to me or put in the comments what trouble you're having with this uh, so that we can create a good design uh, because this uh, Farmcast design is, it's just not user friendly at all. Uh, you do get these differences, but the the huge differences that you really need are the requirements. And although this gives you all the requirements for each of them, uh, what it doesn't do is make it in a way that you can use it. So uh, hopefully this Excel file will be useful to you. Please let me know in the comments if it's helpful.